All right, YouTube, you asked the questions. I have the answers that you're looking for. On the side of my sound pressure level meter, I can actually plug in an accessory item that will feed, uh, well, basically, this electric condenser microphone, which provides the information for the sound level meter to work. I can also tap into the uh, audio of the uh, sound level meter and plug in my, in this case, it is a stereo RCA to three and a half millimeter jack, which will plug into the camera microphone receptacle for a microphone and then I'll take the stereo plug it into my Y adapter which will bring it down to a mono signal which will feed into the stereo plug going into the microphone of the camera so you will get the sound level uh, sound coming through here there's no processing going on, so the signal is direct. And uh, at the same time, I'm going to be reading the sound pressure level of the exhaust system underneath the vehicle using the sound level meter to record the level in decibels. I have two weightings, A and C. I'll be using them both. C is a little more sensitive. So it'll probably give a little bit higher reading. Uh, typically you would use that for your hi-fi system in your home and setting up and calibrating whatever you're uh, working on. Uh, in my case today, to, I'm just recording sound pressure levels at the full uh, human uh, hearing range of 20 to 20,000 hertz. And typically this exhaust system will probably be running anywhere down uh, you know 20 uh, to 30 to 40 to 50 Hertz maybe even 15 or 10 Hertz frequencies we can't even hear doesn't matter it'll all be picked up and recorded so um, that's what I'm doing here and stay tuned YouTube because we're gonna get ready to fire up the beast <laughs> 